Hey guys, today I am pretty much packed the trailer and I wanted to do a quick trailer organization video for you. Let's go inside because it's a little noisy out here. So, I have done, woo, wrong button. Um, I did a video like a long time ago um, at the beginning of springtime. I bought some stuff. Um, for the trailer so I'm gonna insert a clip now of um, what that was because I never actually showed you guys hey guys today I am in my trailer it is springtime which means open up the trailer get it going clean it out you know put everything back in it and hopefully go camping we have a few things we want to do to the trailer this year because um, we got it so late in the season last year pretty much every single cupboard we have in here we would like to put wire shelving in, um, hopefully one here and then in the closets where our clothes go, have a couple different um, shelves. So like in ours, I would have like one, two, and maybe three up here, you know, have one, that type of thing. Um, so we're just hoping to maximize our storage. Um, because you're able to use all of the space that way. I feel with um, the closet spaces, if you're using the actual rod, you lose so much space and you don't get to utilize all of it. So we have two kids and we need the most space we can um, for all of our stuff. So I actually found on a buy and sell site wire shelving. Um, I know at Home Depot you can get it for four feet for like $15. But I thought that's way too much money, more than I wanted to spend, um, because I knew I was going to need a lot. Um, so basically, my mom found a post on a buy and sell site, and I was able to get eight pieces of wire shelving, uh, all almost four feet long, for $35, which was an awesome deal. Then, they actually threw in some wire, um, like actual baskets um, so I'm gonna just show you those we just picked those up this morning we had to drive about an hour to get them which was okay because I was saving a ton of money and now I'm gonna just go get those and hopefully start cutting them up and doing that type of thing so stay here Harley this is all the wire shelving that I got for 35 bucks I got these four baskets that stack like so so those were thrown in for free and then I had this big wire shelving unit it's silver versus the white that was thrown in so I have all these pieces I have I went to Home Depot afterwards and I borrowed my dad's stud finder I bought these brackets you can buy the actual ones for the wire shelving but they were like eight dollars for 20 when these they're electrical cable clamps and you get 18 in a pack for like two dollars so i just you figured i'd try these out if it doesn't work then i can go to the wire shelving ones but i figure for a quarter of the price i'd try these ones so this is how my cupboards turned out with the wire shelving I had to use the, I had some thicker um, wire shelving and then I had this thin wire shelving and I'll show you, actually there's the other stuff there, see how thick it is versus this one. Um, and the reason why I had to do that is because the distance from here to there didn't allow me to have a wire to attach to. And then also this wasn't deep enough, so I added a piece back here. But these worked fairly well. I'm quite impressed. It was a little awkward to get in there, but so this is the kids' cupboard. And it maximized their storage space like crazy. I'm so happy with it. This one I did, um, I pushed the shelving back a little bit because of the door height and that's because when you're going to reach up if this had come out all the way you would have never been able to get back to the back so that's why I left it like that 
So yeah, I did have actually a lot of wire shelving left over, which was awesome. So I get to use it elsewhere now. So as you can see, I bought wire shelving to help organize everything. And I'm just going to go through quickly and show you how I organize um, all my stuff in the trailer. So I will start off by the bedroom and I'm going to go to my side, which is this side, um, because Kyle kind of keeps his the way ever, whatever way he wants. So I put my bread spread from my bedroom in here and I really like it. Um, I really love this bed spread. It actually looks really red on the camera when it's more of like a burgundy, but I don't know if you guys have noticed that I've switched my bed spread in the bedroom. So I thought this was perfect. I get to have it a little bit more dressy in here for that. So first things first is my wardrobe area. And right now I'm technically using most of this and this. And then I also have a drawer down here. And those are just my slippers that I keep in here. So up top, I have bins like this. I want to get more like a cubicle bin for this, um, but I just haven't yet. But these are working really well right now. Um, and I have them all labeled as you can see. So I have one back there, one there, and then I believe there's one, yes, one there. Oh, and we're blurry. So that is how I organize clothing. Um, I have everything labeled and ready to go. And then in here, I have a little bit bigger bins. And down the bottom, I use the roll method. I've found that it works really well. Um, things don't get as messy quickly. And you're able to see a lot more items. You're able to pack more items because um, they fit nicer and that type of thing. So all the bottom shelf is um, pajama pants, jogging pants, comfy pants, and jeans. Um, and capris, that type of thing. And then the top here, I have one smaller basket here. And then I have a bigger one in the back. So, oh, and usually those don't fall out. And those are usually rolled. Um, so anyways, in this one, I have my shorts and undershirts in that one. And then this one, I normally keep bathing suit covers and bathing suits um, but because it's fall time I now have a scarf and one romper and then one bathing suit so that goes back in there and these happen to fit perfect that's why I ended up getting one big bin and one smaller bin yeah they don't like match perfectly but it works so this is just one big bin up here and that's because of the way the ceiling goes and in here I have all of like my shirts that I wear over my undershirts so like t-shirts um, and that type of thing so that is it for that and then over here normally you can put a TV here however I put a command hook for both of us and we are able to hang our sweaters which makes it really nice because it doesn't take up space in any of our wardrobe closet so that's what we do with sweaters and then in here is underwear socks bras and I use these cardboard um, I just cut out cardboard things so that it divides it which is really really helpful it keeps things organized and doesn't um, have them like swishing all over the bin and so you're not able to find anything. Here we have shoe bins and this is at the end of our bed as you can tell. Um, we keep shoe bins there and normally they're filled with shoes and then this is the skirting for my bug net. So then at the front door, just hopping around, um, I have a big seven and a half pound uh, command hook and this houses all of our coats. Then here, oh, I didn't even mention. <laughs> this is the wire shelving that I ended up putting. So I put two shelves in each of ours. And then our entertainment center, I put wire shelving one uh, shelf there. 
This holds our flashlights, our remotes, and that. Uh, down here, I didn't really organize. Um, that is all DVDs down there, which is kind of a mess, and I don't know what to do because it's such a skinny um, space. So I have a bin here for all of our shoes, which I am really like. I actually had a plastic bin, um, and then I found this wicker basket, and I like that much better. And then in behind, I put another command hook, and it holds our broom. And then we have one um, umbrella and our fire extinguisher. Then this is Michaela's couch. And we got these bins. Actually, I took out most of them. Um, these bins from Dollar Tree. And I can't even get them because it's kind of disorganized right now. But they're just like the fabric bins and they happen to fit perfectly the opposite way. So normally like your handle is on this side. Um, and you can just fit a lot more that way. So this is just actually empty because we put Michaela's stuff in that. And then we had all these cups and things in those bins, but we found it very frustrating, so we took them out. Um, and this is just what works for us now. Um, so that's all of our cups. And then we have paper plates and bowls. And I'll just take that out for a second. And then I have my plastic set as well, which is what we normally use anyways. So that is the majority of our dishes. And then in behind here, hopefully you can see, in behind the couch, so Michaela normally lays here. In behind the couch, we keep all of her stuff. So we have diapers, receiving blankets for her drool, receiving blankets for underneath her bum, uh, change pads, wipes we bring tons of wipes all the time and then blankets over there and normally in this corner we put an oxygen bottle if we have to and if we are using the concentrator we actually stick the um cord through the slide out here so it won't get pinched because of how it works um it's nice and soft so as you can see like there's a space down there we stick the cord uh hose through there and then it works perfect so i think that's it for her area and now in this area the dinette down here we just have um like board games and up here we keep in this bin, we have a lot of diesel stuff, um, dog bags, treats, his bowls, and then his dog food. I normally keep this underneath the bed, but I have a feeling it's going to work nicer up here. So I actually just move that. Um, we normally keep our chips up here, napkins, and then this is like juice jugs and stuff like that, and trays. And then this one, which you also saw in the clip, I got these baskets, and I was hoping they were gonna work in the bathroom. However, they fit amazing in here. So I could have technically centered um, the edge of the basket with here, and it would have fit perfect here. However, I end up losing that much space if I do that. So I actually just shoved them this way. It works so, so well. And in this one, we keep like a saran wrap, napkins, straws. Um, up here, we have this is this is our pump for our water jugs. I actually got this from the dollar store quite a few years ago, um, and I'm finding that works awesome. Because what we do is set our big water jug there. Um, you've probably seen in videos, and we have that on top, and you can just pump the water out of it. And then, of course, beer pong, which has never been opened. <laughs> um, this here, I have three little bins, which carry plastic forks, knives, and spoons. And then this is like miscellaneous stuff. Um, the screws that I use to screw up the um, wire shelving, some command hook stuff. Um, these, these are broom holder, um, broom handle holders. And I'm hoping to put these underneath so that they can hold um, things in the basement storage. 
I just haven't gotten around to that yet. <laughs> so that is what's up top of the dinette. And then in this door here, we have a kitty litter. So I actually have a door, a brown door that matches perfectly. I got it off An Amazon. Um, I'll try and insert a picture now of what it looks like. But I have to put that in. We haven't taken the cats yet. Um, we're thinking maybe this time we will, but I don't know. So the cat litter has been there since pretty much we got the trailer started this year. Um, but we just really haven't used it. So then on to the kitchen. I don't know if any of you remember, but I had a white toaster last year and I replaced it with a black toaster. Then we got a coffee maker. It's nice and compact size. Up here, I put some more command hooks for our oven mitts and cutting boards. And then I found this perfect size dish drainer. Um, I do have the bottom of it in case I want to set it on the counter. But it works perfect in here. It fits awesome. I love that. And it kind of blends in with all the black. So then up in this big cupboard, we keep like all our big stuff. So we have a kettle, um, our pots and pans, mixing bowls, and a strainer. And then our griddle. And we found this works really well because you use electricity instead of your propane. And then down here is where we keep our garbage bin, um, our dish soap. There is the bottom of the dish drainer. Back there is garbage bags. And then I had these containers and I thought it would work perfect in this space to keep things more organized. So this is kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. Then I keep um, dishcloths and sponges. And then some other miscellaneous stuff. And then I put stuff in the bottom one that I don't really often use. But it's still quite accessible if I need it. Then in here, of course, we have our cutlery. And I was able to empty this out um, because of those um, drawers. Because I used to have a lot of my bigger utensils in here and it just got too crammed. So now we have all of our bigger stuff in here um, which works out well. I know it's kind of messy but it works for now until I get some dividers. We normally use our uh, oven as a bread box so that works out well. Um, however I don't know if we're ever going to use it as an oven but at least we have it just in case. In this cupboard it's not full right now because I still have to um, fill it but for the most part, this is Michaela's shelf. Keep um, syringes and um, cylinders and that in there. And then we keep her formula here. And then we always have a case underneath that bed. Right now I just have lingo garlic because I haven't decided. Actually, that's supposed to be down there with all the spices. So I have my salt and pepper shaker nice and ready. Um, our spices and then like our packaged um, seasonings and then some coffee stuff so I have like stir sticks and tea bags and then up here I have my vacuum that's actually coffee um, this is Michaela's laxative um, I have I bought this battery container to hold all of my different size batteries which is awesome because you can just grab it and go in here I have like salt packages and stuff like that that you grab from restaurants that I just had left over that is like oops we forgot something <laughs> we can run and grab that so that is that for the kitchen area and this is our pantry once again this is like our closet and focus please we keep the same size bins pretty much um, in here so we have one large one and this one's got to be the heaviest <laughs> one large one at the back and then a small one at the front um, so that works out perfect because you get to take out the small one quickly and then grab what's in the back um, I find it very convenient so that you're not like searching through because this is such a long like you can't even see it all the way to the back. Um, like it's more than the length of my arm. Um, well, you can kind of see it there, but 
I find it very convenient to be able to pull out a small basket and then have a bigger basket out of the back. So each one is filled with pantry items and then up top we use this one as like our cereal one um, and Damien's goodies. So I try and keep those at the top so he can't just run in the pantry and grab it. Then our fridge and freezer. Um, our freezer doesn't really get organized, it just has to fit as much stuff as possible. Um, we try and make things crammed in there as much as possible without like um, ruining the circulation. So this isn't full right now, neither is the fridge, but um, it is on and it's housing some things. <laughs> Then our fridge, I bought these bins um, to organize things. I have four of them and they work perfect. Um, they happen to be the right height and um, it just organizes things. So I'll put things in this and then you just get to grab a bin and you're good to go. On to Damien's bedroom and area for the kids. Um, this closet is the kids cupboard. And it's pretty packed to the brim. Up there I have extra sheets and blankets for the kids, as well as Michaela's um, netting for outside if we take her outside. And then once again we have the wire shelving that I put in, um, and then one small basket, and one big basket at the back. So it holds, again I use the roll method, um, and everything is labeled. And I labeled everything because Kyle was having a hard time finding things because I always pack the kids clothes but then he'll go and grab something and he'll like search through all of these shelves to, shelves to try and find something and he can't find it. So um, I find that works really well and I would actually like to get a couple packing cubes that would fit in here and then I can take even more items. Um, but for right now this works well. and. I should mention that we're going nine days this time. So this is enough clothing for nine days. Damien has two shelves and then Michaela has one and a half because in behind there I have um, more sheets, um, Damien's ergo carrier and what else? Something else. Oh, a vest for Damien. So Michaela only needs like one and a half and then Damien has two. So this is all Michaela's stuff. And I actually have, um, these were bags that the sheets came in, um, like these sheets. So I kept them and then I just found them the other night and I'm like, you know what? That's perfect to hold all the kids socks. So I have two of these, um, and they just work perfect. Cause then you don't like have a million socks flying everywhere and they can always be shoved like in here like that if I need to. Um, but yeah, so bins and Shelving is the perfect thing because there used to be one rod in here and I found it so useless It didn't hold like pretty much anything you could get maybe six pieces of clothing By the time all the hangers go in and all the clothing and this way I can pretty much pack enough for a couple weeks um, Which I think is awesome so that's why I decided to go with the wire shelving and that's how I attached them was actually little wire hooks um, or brackets and then a little soffit screw so that's how I attached it so up here as you can see I use it all for storage um, over there I have extra blankets that actually came with the trailer um, and a couple pillows for when we have guests then we have um, towels um, all of our towels, Damien's blanket, I need some more blankets in here. Um, I have this winter coat that for Damien because it's pretty chilly here now. Um, but I think I'm actually going to grab snow pants as well. I have a few sweaters here, two for Damien and one for Michaela, um, that just couldn't hang on their hooks. So that comes out pretty easily. And then up here I just have a few toys for Damien and in this... Um, it's kind of perfect height. It has a little bit of space up here. I wanted to try and find, I think I even, did I vlog it? 
Oh yeah, I did. In our Sturgeon Bay video, I'll have those linked below and in the iCard, um, I bought big bins that I was hoping was going to fit here and they were just too tall. So I had this bin actually in my house and I emptied all the junk that was in it in the house and put it in here. So Damon has slippers, shoes, that's an extra smoke detector, um, hats, gloves, that type of thing goes in there. And then this is all of Michaela's extra supplies. So that's awesome because it kind of stays out of the way, but yet still accessible if I need it. Okay, so that is the top bunk. And then here I put two command hooks. One holds Damien's sweaters, the other one holds Michaela's. Once again, that's Damien's bed. And in here is pretty empty right now, but it will fill up. Um, in the first bin over there, I have electrical cords. In this bin, I have um, dumping material stuff, like my hose. That is actually a heater over there, our electric heater, so it doesn't take as much on propane. And then we have a bin here. It has a life jacket and some air mattresses. Um, here is our hose, our drinking water hose. I actually just bought that. I didn't have one all summer and I found it really frustrating so I grabbed one. In here we have water for now and some extra water. Um, and then, so normally we have like two um, big things of water bottles and I just find it so difficult um, because if we want water Damien's laying on this bed at night we can't get in there so I'm actually bringing two jugs of water and then whatever water is in there so that's how we're doing it this time so that is their area and then the bathroom so I'll start off with here once again I put command hooks this is for all our towels I did have another one but it fell off I'll have to redo that um, and then I have our laundry bags Kyle and I use these laundry bags so mine is purple his is green and then Damien and Michaela use laundry baskets so these baskets are awesome I bought them from Dollar Tree and they were only $1.25. They are awesome for bringing things in and out of the house f to the trailer f when I'm packing. So I love these baskets. Um, and then I keep a stool in here just in case um, so Damien can wash his hands. But it also keeps this so that they can fit together because they're just too wide for the bathtub. But it works perfect when it's sitting upright. So that's that. And then I actually made this. Um, it's a minute race thing. You can see it. Um, I would like to get more white duct tape eventually, but it just holds our toilet paper. And as you can see, we had a little critter in here. I had all of this underneath there, and I noticed we had a critter there. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, our garbage can, and then, so I used to have these, and they might end up getting moved back there, but I used to have them here. Um, but now I just would like Damien's potty there because I wouldn't, I normally put his potty there, but I don't like it there. So I'm hoping to put Damien's potty there and it'll work better. So then in the bathroom cupboards, we have, I don't know if I showed this, but I put a command hook here. I have a mirror for me and then this can hold jewelry. Um, that is if I ever <laughs> bring jewelry. Oh well. <laughs> Um, and then this is kind of like a mumbo jumbo right now. I haven't organized it this time yet before we go. Um, I have to do that. So up here I have like a little emergency kit, um, some toothpick things, and that is some ammonium, uh, just cause you never know. <laughs> um, and then like all these little travel size bottles, I like to take them because it makes it so much easier in the showers, but they get everywhere. So I have these little clear um, bins, and I actually had them in my vanity, and I didn't pay anything for them because I had already had them. So I thought they would be great to hold all them, and normally they're all standing up, but 
for the purpose of this video, they're laying down. <laughs> so once again, just little random items like this is supposed to be up there. Um, toothpaste and stuff like that. And then like all of our bottles um, normally stand up like that. And then once again, we have these little ones. And then this is just like a little clear one and we keep soaps. So that is how we organize our cupboard. And then down here, I put two big bins, which houses all of our like big stuff. Um, I put a hook there for a toilet brush, which is actually clean because I already have one right there. And then I have an extra shower curtain just in case one rips. Um, the shower head for the outside shower. Um, that is just a damp trap. Um, and then I have, which I think I showed in the Bancroft campground video. Um, this is laundry soap, so I don't have to bring like a huge laundry soap um, container, but yet I can keep refilling it if I need to. And then up there, I have a command hook that just holds the bag that we use to take to the shower. And then that goes there. So that is our bathroom. So that is how I organize our trailer. Um, that is kind of what's worked for us well um, in this space. Um, I'm sure there's other things that I forgot to tell you that I've been meaning to do. Um, but there's a lot that I would still like to do in here. It's just time, money, you know, all that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notifications button if you haven't. Um, and you'll get my videos as soon as they come out. But yeah, so I can't wait to go camping this time. We're going, like I said, nine days. And it's going to be interesting. So I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.